we got back from X-Men Apocalypse and we survived. Yes, we did survive. Sur considering the stuff we've heard about this movie. Yeah, 48% <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes last time I checked. Yeah. It wasn't bad. No. Wasn't no, bad. I didn't I didn't think it was the 40 whatever percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Um so uh um it was long. As usual. Two and a half hours. Can we please stop with the two and a half hour movies? It didn't need to be two and a half hours. No, it didn't. No movie needs to be two and a half hours. Not X-Men, not Batman v Superman, not Transformers, no. nothing. No, stop it. Stop it's, pretending these are epics. It's not. almost midnight. I know. It's very inconvenient for us. Yeah, I mean, we got there at what? 7.15. <laughs> 7.15. 25 minutes of commercials. Yeah, we didn't get out until around 10 o'clock. Yeah, oh my god. Um, uh, but yeah, movie movie wasn't bad. So, yeah. um, they, uh, they made the decision to make this happen in the 80s after the events of Days of Future Past. Yes. Which, um, I guess... Which is still, in my, in my opinion, the best of all the X-Men movies. Yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can go get on board with that. Um, this one, I would probably put it somewhere between X2 and X3. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, X2 is often regarded as one, one of the best. And um, X3 but, is regarded as one of the worst, if yeah. not the worst. Yeah, although um, X3 didn't bother me as much as it did with most people. Yeah. Um, I, I can still acknowledge it as one of the worst, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because uh, Brian Singer was not a part of it. No, it was he, not. No, he, he, went not. To go, he went to go make Superman Returns instead. <laughs> and now he's back, and that's why X-Men is cool again. <laughs> uh, that's why they retconned X3 yeah. in Days of Future Past. Yeah. Um, let's see, there's all... Uh, I think uh, the problems with this movie... There, there are two basic problems that I, I can see, aside from the length. Um, lots and lots of characters. Yeah, too to, many characters. Yeah, most characters. I think you said uh, you heard from a lot of people characters that either had too much to do or, or nothing to or do. Nothing to do. Yeah, like they introduced Jubilee for no reason. Yeah, she's just there. She's just she's just hanging out with uh, with Scott, Jean, and Kurt. Yeah, and then she goes away. Uh, although. Although the one scene with them was pretty funny. Um, yeah, talking about Return of yeah, the Jedi. Yeah, they all went out to the movies to see Return of the Jedi, and uh, they were arguing over like if uh, which was better, Empire or New Hope. Mm -hmm. And then as they're walking away, Chin goes, "Well, I think we can all agree the third movie is never the best." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, shots fired. Yep. <laughs> I bet Brian Singer wrote that line. Probably because <laughs> he was not a part of that movie. No, he was not. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so there was a lot of characters. Some of them, it was cool seeing them, um, like, uh, S Psylocke for the first time. Yeah. Who even, looked, who looked awesome, by the way. Yeah, she did look she, awesome. She looked exactly like she did in the comics. And Storm with her yeah, 80s mohawk. Yeah, yeah, rocking the mohawk. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and, uh, that was, that's a cool thing, because, like, this, this happened in the 80s, but it wasn't, like, in your face, this is the '80s yeah. type of thing. I mean, like they showed Quicksilver playing Miss Pac-Man, and, uh, and there was music in the background, but it was never in your face. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of Quicksilver, yeah, again, Quick he was the best part Quick of the movie. I, lo <laughs> I love, I love this version of Quicksilver. Yes. Um, uh, we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Second, the the other problem that I'm seeing with this movie was Magneto. Yeah, he was kind of wasted. Yeah. Well, yeah, he. Uh, his motivations felt very forced. They did. Like, um... Okay, basically what happened was, uh, I guess after Days of Future Past, he disappeared. Yeah, he was laying and low. And he created a, uh, a alter ego identity for himself. Yeah, like Henrik or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, they were in Poland. And he had a family, and he had a wife and a daughter, and he was a steel worker. Yeah. Um, so one day, his power... Uh, there was an accident at the steel mill... And he saved a guy from getting crushed, and then I guess somebody snitched, and they sent police after him, who had who were armed with lassos and bow, bow and arrows. But yeah. Like, I, <laughs> no metal. I know, I know. It, it was smart, but it was also kind of hilarious seeing yeah. him stand there with, with like crossbows. Ropes and shit, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, they wanted to they wanted to bring him in. Um, so uh, they. Uh, 
Uh, oh, his daughter was also a mutant, by the yeah. way. Uh, I don't know if she was like a canon mutant or... Bas basically, she can talk to animals or something like that. Yeah, so, uh, she there was, was a beast master. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was... <laughs> she should have met Beast. That would have yeah, been right. hilarious. That would have been anyway, hilarious, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, well, here's the thing. They, they come to take him, but his daughter is freaking out. Um, she can't control her power. She sends eagles to after them. And one of the guys with the bow and arrow, accidentally fires. Let's it loose, and, and it, uh, hits, it spears both the daughter yeah, and the wife. They get arrowed. Yeah, they get arrowed. And, and then killed. Magneto freaks out, and he kills yeah. them. And then he goes to the steel mill to try and kill every, the person who snitched. And then Apocalypse shows up and makes him a minion. Yeah, which... I don't recall Magneto ever yeah, being ever one of Apocalypse's Apocalypse. bitches, because... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if I recall, in fact, I remember this from X Men Evolution. He fought Apocalypse. Yeah, he was one of the first to go after him. Mm -hmm. uh, he was dropping satellites on him. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. So, and then like at the end, they had to get the uh, like it was um, uh, Mystique trying to convince him to become good, and, and Charles is like, "You are good, Eric. You can do this." And, and Go straight to the docks. Oh, wait, shit, wrong movie. And then suddenly he turns good. And yeah, he, he yeah. fights Apocalypse, so... I don't know. And yeah. Let's talk about Apocalypse himself now for a while, because you know what bothers me about this movie. Mm, yes. First of all, let's just say that Apocalypse was awesome. The yeah. guy who played... Yeah, Oscar Isaac who played it. Yes. Him, he nailed, nailed that fucking character. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, can, can, I, can I share a funny story first before... Um, yes, go ahead. You saw the you saw the original uh, costume for Apocalypse, right? Yes. When he was purple. Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, I saw that image without any context to it. Yeah. And then someone posted a picture of Ivan Ooze next to him, and I knew there was a Power Ranger movie coming out. <laughs> so I immediately thought that that was from the Power Rangers nice. movie. <laughs> I was like, oh, nice. they're bringing back Ivan Ooze. Oh, I still don't care about that movie. <laughs> nah. So I was then I was shocked to discover that was supposed to be Apocalypse. Yeah. And then everyone complained and they changed the costume. Thankfully. Yeah. yeah it's one of the few times I will thank the internet for complaining. <laughs> yeah, but the, uh, they basically nerfed Apocalypse. Yeah. Um, Apocalypse. Uh, it, it has been a while since I uh, like watched the cartoon or read the comics, but I do remember Apocalypse being like. A legit threat, if not and the biggest it, threat. Yeah, man. yeah, one of, like uh, probably the biggest uh, X Men villain. Yeah, um, aside from uh, maybe maybe the Phoenix when she went crazy. Yeah, because oh, that's Phoenix. That's but, Phoenix. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they uh, he he had this thing where he was transferring himself to other bodies to stay yeah. alive forever. Which I don't think that was ever a part of his character. Yeah. Ever. I don't recall that. He, he was, was just immortal. Yeah. Um, and, uh... And like, all the other stuff, like, his ability to grow and increase in size, it was yeah. all done in, like, this weird mind battle against Xavier at the end of the film. Yeah. But that's stuff he can do in real life. Well, not real life, but you know in, what I mean. In the, in the comic. In yeah, the, in the, the comic. character can do it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, he was still really great. I think it's the, uh... uh again, we're going back to Batman v Superman. It's the whole thing about um, Batfleck, about how Bat, uh, Affleck was a great Batman, mm -hmm. but he just had stupid stuff to do. Yes, exactly. It was he was kind of the same with this. Yeah, he was a great Batman stuck in a, well, in a in shitty, a shitty movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, with this, he had the look, he had the demeanor, he had that, that booming voice, yes. that commanding, there, there will be a cleansing like a yeah. type, of, type of thing. There is no freedom from me. There is only freedom through me. Yeah, that's from the cartoon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I still I love say, that quote. I will say I love the voice from the cartoon better. Yes. That was, that was like, I am as far beyond mutant as they are beyond you. Evil? <laughs> I am not malevolent. I simply am. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I really hope that... The, I, re I really wish that they used that as a reference. I know. Yeah, because... <laughs> Um, I know for a fact that Brian Singer, when he was uh, brought on to do X Men, he didn't know anything about it. Oh, so he marathoned the cartoon. Nice. That, that's why. That's why the the first two X movies were great. 
Yeah, but um, I guess maybe he skipped the or maybe it's been a while uh, for Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else. Uh, we there was a little bit too much time in this movie focused on uh, uh, Cyclops. You know, everyone's favorite X Men. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. He's still a whiny bitch. And yep. he always will be. Always will be. No one likes you, Apocalypse. No, he is Cyclops. <laughs> cry, cry, uh, 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 Cyclops. No one likes you, Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Cry yeah. more. Third biggest dick in the entire Marvel Universe, only yep. outranked by Reed Richards and Hank Pym. Mm. At least in the comics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we're talking just cinematic, then I'd say he's number one, because Hank Pym and Ant-Man was pretty cool. Yeah, that's and true. And Reed Richards... Not as dickish as he was in the comics. Re well, despite yeah. how, despite those movies not being very great, but that's the whole mm -hmm. other thing. Um, it was cool seeing uh, Nightcrawler again. Yes, it was. Uh, I kind of wish that we saw more of him in the other movies because I actually liked X 2s Nightcrawler a little bit better. Oh yeah. Um, this one was kind of cool. He was a little younger, a little more naive, and yeah, a little a little awkward. closer to his character from X Men Evolution. Uh, because in, in, and then he was a teenager and he yeah. was a little strange, but in this, in X two he was very uh, reserved and very like mistrusting. Yeah, um, which makes sense. Yeah, for his character. very very whimsical. I really liked him. Uh, I, I liked him in this too. Um, let's see, Jean Grey was pretty good. Yeah, uh, for ex the most part. Except for uh, one thing, which is the mistake they constantly keep making with the X Men movies. He's fucking up Phoenix. The fucking Phoenix. God damn it. They need to watch the Phoenix Saga from the from the cartoon. That's usually how it always happens. They just do it as an 11th hour superpower where it's just like, yeah. Oh, Gene, say... Like, example, fucking Xavier was asking her to help him like five times and just kept cutting yeah. back to a close-up of her face and she's just like, Duh? Should I do something? Hold on. I'm going to come in late for dramatic effect. I know. <laughs> Uh, and yes, once again, they, they screwed up the Phoenix. It's like, what the fuck are you waiting for, Gene? Yeah. A signed invitation? Yeah. Because uh, it's a shame, too, because I feel like if they were to do another movie, uh, or at least another, you know, continue the X-Men, which I kind of hope they don't, but... Um, it looks like they're going the, the, to. The, yeah, well, there was, there was a stinger at the uh, an after credits thing. Yeah, there was. Thing, and they did allude to... Something, but we're, we we're won't spoil it. We're just, if you're going to see the movie, wait till yeah. after the credits. Um, but yeah, if they were to do like another major arc for the X Men, uh, Phoenix is pretty much all they got left. I mean, yeah, there were true. there there are there are other things they can do. Like they can do maybe the Savage Lands or yeah, Sauron. Uh, yeah, Savage guys. Land. Maybe um, Genosha. Genosha. Uh, all of what else is there? There's Mister Sinister. Who could? Is is a good villain, but he's kind of a step down from Apocalypse. Yeah, considering yeah, he which, was Apocalypse's second banana. Yeah, um, at least for a while. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to also. Um, who was that one mutant that was like? He looked like Billy Corgan from Smashing Pumpkins. Who was that? He was like he was like Caliban was his name. Yeah, Caliban. He was work. Uh, he wasn't played by Billy Corgan. Yeah, he looked I like. <laughs> I looked at his name in the credits. Yeah, he looked... Uh, uh, Psylocke was working for him. I don't remember yeah. uh, who he was. Um, I don't like that uh, That Storm had uh, an origin of like, a, of, like, a street thief. Yeah. Because didn't didn't she, like, grow up in Africa and they, like, worshipped her as a god or something? Yeah, they did. Her village yeah. worshipped her as a god. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see, who else was in this movie? Uh, Beast was in it. He was as good as he was. Yep, Nicholas Holt always does a good <clears throat> job as Beast. Um, what a day! What a lovely! Oh wait, sorry, wrong movie. <laughs> Same actor though. Yeah, although, although I, I do miss Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, well, I mean, this is the Young Beast because it's the, it's the '80s. Yeah, but um, Kelsey Grammer was uh, like of, of like the top ten best casted superheroes. Yeah, Kelsey he, Grammer's he's Beast a, was. A he's great. in there. He's definitely yeah. in there. Oh, speaking of best casted superheroes, Wolfie shows up. <laughs> yeah, very briefly, yep. but but it is Hugh Jackman. Yeah, uh, which actually is a is another issue. Um, there, there's a scene where uh, Apocalypse gets into Charles's head, and he uses the Cerebro to fire off all the nukes of the world into space. Yeah, or some. And um, there's a scene where Havoc was with him, and 
They were trying to, like, stop Cerebro, so they told Havoc, just, break, destroy everything, destroy everything! So he just goes nuts and just, yeah, just wrecks goes Cerebro. Yeah, just starts beating uh, And the then uh, Apocalypse and them show up and kidnap Charles, and then he tries to shoot at him, and he accidentally hits the Blackbird, which causes a giant explosion. That destroys the whole uh, yeah. academy. Yeah, and uh, Havoc, is n Havoc is now dead. Yeah. Um, which actually leads into uh, uh, Quicksilver's uh, joining the team. Uh, yeah, which was... Yeah, it, that scene was, was great. great. I don't know why they played Sweet Dreams during that whole sequence. Yeah, I don't know why. That felt like a very odd choice. But basically, he was running around the mansion saving everybody from the explosion. Yeah. Uh, but then, like, the... Um, uh, the army shows up and captures a bunch of them and brings them to the Weapon X facility. Yeah. Which, that whole bit with the Weapon X facility... That was another one that kinda, was kind of... Yeah, that, that was not necessary. It's like, hey, we just lost our entire school. Hey, yeah. Major Striker shows up. Yeah. Why? And, yeah, and then they quickly escape because they let Wolverine loose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he was, was in funny. a cage. So Jean Grey released him, and then he just went ham on all the all the soldiers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carved everyone up like yeah. fucking Thanksgiving turkey. And then he ran off. Yep. And uh, Cyclops was like, I hope I don't have to deal with that guy again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little you know, I, I, I will I will give this movie credit. A lot of the little quips were kind of funny. Yeah, they were. Um, it was odd seeing them juxtaposed to... Uh, this, is, this may be like the most brutal X-Men movie to date, because the, the body count... Yeah. was huge. And most of it is Wolverine. Yeah, and Magneto. Yeah, and, Wolverine and Magneto, and the two of them. And Apocalypse turning people to dust. And, or embedding them in walls. Yeah, oh god, yeah. that was horrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it, this was by far the darkest movie, and then there was all these, like, quips and all these little lines, and it just, it, it was so jarring. Yeah. <laughs> like this, like the scene where they were coming out of the movie, it came out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, it was funny, but it, it yeah. just, it, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Um... Uh, there was what, a lot going on. It's just yeah. another. It, it was clu It was cluttered. Yeah, it's another that, movie that's that was trying problem. to do too many things at once. But I would say that I was still invested in it. Yeah, same. Um, again, I don't think this deserves all of the hate it's getting. Yeah. Uh, unless there's something I'm not seeing. Uh, oh, by the way, Stan Lee in his least funny cameo to date. Yep. <laughs> instead, usually he shows up for a joke or whatever. But he showed him and his wife actually. Yeah. Uh, were. Uh, two people watching the nukes go off uh, in horror, like looking up in horror, and I was like, oh, wow, Stan Lee is uh, going to die in nuclear fallout. That's Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> depressing. He didn't, thank God. But Thank God, uh, yeah. Well, uh, considering how much damage was done to the Earth, yeah. uh, who knows, but anyway, uh, it's okay, he's the watcher. Yes, that's he's, true. He, he's the watcher, he's, he'll be fine. <laughs> I love that theory. Um, yep. let's see, what else? Um, is there anything else to, to bring up? Any, anything else you can think of? Not really. Uh, like I said, you know what my gripes are with this movie. Yeah. The, but, blo uh, the blob was in it very briefly. Yeah, very briefly. <laughs> Apparently he got his ass kicked by Angel. Yeah, like, speaking of Angel, oh, yeah. as you mentioned Angel. Uh, yeah. Sorry, his... <laughs> During that final fight with freaking um, with uh, Nightcrawler, he looked. I swear, I just kept looking at him and seeing Bill S. Preston Esquire. <laughs> oh That's God! All now I you're saw, right. the, yeah, like the hair and yeah. everything. I'm just like, oh my God. Well, well, this was the '80s, so it's Wild Stallions. Him <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and Kurt are gonna form a band. <laughs> yeah, like them playing Metallica's Four Horsemen when he gets. <laughs> When Apocalypse shows up to her. Yeah, that was that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Nah, me neither. Um, I'd say give it a watch. Yeah, give it a it, watch. It's long and it's a little cluttered, but it it was not it was not that bad. It's engaging though. Yeah, yeah. But I, I felt interested in what was going on. Yes. And uh, I think I kind of hope that now uh, Fox relinquishes the rights to Marvel. Yes. Because it's not that I think that they, they're going to continue to make bad movies. It's just that I feel like this is the end. For, it, yeah, it, their it arc. Had, yeah. It had a nice little send-off. Spoilers, by the way, but um, Magneto turns good. Um, yeah. Yeah, so is so's, uh, Mystique, Mystique and, and Quicksilver. And Quicksilver yeah. They're part of the X-Men now. So, I don't know. Again, they, they, they tease something at the very end after the credits, but... Uh, I just, I, I just think it's done. Yeah. It's I, I would, li I would like to see this 
be put in the hands of Disney to see what they can do with it. Yep. Um, among other things that they still haven't gotten the rights to, but I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're patiently waiting for them to screw up again. Um, we'll see. It, it just to me feels kind of weird, and it's always felt weird that we have a Marvel Cinematic Universe, and yet we have to leave out so many characters who are staples of Marvel. Mm-hmm. And it just it just never felt right to me, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. If, we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. Whether or not it gets relinquished. It, yep. We'll see. But again, uh, not bad. Check it out. Give it a give it a rent or a, or a matinee or something. Yep. Uh, so that's about it. That's all we got. And next time is uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's right. Next week. <laughs> oh boy, Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. <sighs> Honestly, though, I am more excited for this one. I have to say, yeah. Tyler yeah, Perry's there. back to yeah. stock, but I think this is going to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so see you later.